New York woman seen berating a flight attendant in an online video is on, is on forced leave from her job. Nearly two million people watched the recording of her meltdown. Her suspension is raising new questions about the consequences of sharing someone else's embarrassing moments online. Experts say that these incidents are becoming very common in high-stress situations like air travel. Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport just outside of Washington, D.C. Chris, good morning. Good morning. In this video, the woman can be seen threatening a flight attendant's job, but also saying that she worked for the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo. Now, after this video went viral, it's now her job that could be on the line. And at the very least, it's a reminder that virtually everyone has a camera on their phones now. So you can almost bet someone's going to be rolling. He's not going to cry the whole time. This cell phone video captures a heated confrontation between a Delta flight attendant and passenger Susan Pires. Is that your name? Tabitha? I'm Tabitha. Thank you, Tabitha. You may not have a job tomorrow. I want to say no. The two can be heard arguing about how Pires treated a young mom and her baby. The governor was screaming at the baby. I'm not screaming. I'll, I'll be quiet now, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I was really stressed out. The mom who took the video, Marissa Rundell, says she shared it on Facebook to raise awareness about Pires's behavior. It was then viewed nearly two million times. Pires's employer, the New York State Council on the Arts, started an investigation and says she's been placed on leave until further notice. Rundell says she doesn't regret sharing the video, but she does regret that it has affected Pires's job. Sue Sheff is the author of Shame Nation. No one is afforded the luxury of an oops moment anymore without risking it going viral. There are many examples of these incidents. <coughs> Two aviation security officers were fired after a widely shared video showed them dragging a Kentucky doctor from an overbooked United flight. <laughs> and an American Airlines flight attendant was suspended after a confrontation with two passengers last April. Chef says before you upload a video to social media, take time to consider the consequences. You never want to put a temporary emotion on the permanent internet because what you feel at that time is going to stay there forever. And the same could be said for the frustrated passenger. If you don't want people to see the meltdown, maybe don't have it on the airliner. Still, Delta is defending the behavior of its flight attendant, but says it expects its passengers to behave with respect and civility towards flight crews and each other. We did reach out to Ms. Pires. She did not respond. Nora? Nora and Chris, thank you. I think that's fair. Treat one another with respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it's an interesting point, temporary emotion on the Internet. I think we've all been in situations where, well, I'll speak for myself, where, where you lose it and you just think, gosh, you know, back, 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 that was that was not very good. <laughs> I've never seen you lose it. That hurts. Right. It's rare. It is. I say it's rare, but it has happened, and I wouldn't want to be on tape. Yeah. Okay. But you're right, Nora. Always be on your best behavior. <laughs> Let's just live by that motto. How about you that? You always are, yeah. How about that? Ooh. All right. Yeah. All right, up next.